Here's how to build this expandable bone meal farm that will produce tons of bone meal fully AFK. You want to build this farm within a single chunk, I'll have a proper texture pack on my Discord server, link in the description. The first thing that you want to do in order to build this farm is to place four blocks in a T-shape like this and break the middle one. You can replace that block with a redstone repeater, then a redstone torch in front and a redstone dust at the back side. Then place a lever and flick it once to shut the redstone clock off. Now place a redstone dust right here and a second one right there. At this point you can decide how many of these kelp cells you want to build. As you can see this design right here has 8 cells and I'm now going to show you how to build one cell of this farm. In order to build your first cell what you want to do is to take a redstone dust and place it next to the other ones and then a sticky piston in front. It should extend and you want to break the block below the piston right here. Now place a sand block in front of the piston and on top of the extended piston arm right here. Now you want to place a stone brick on top of the piston right here and on top of this sand block. Then place another stone brick in this position with a regular piston on top and another block right here. Now you have to decide how many cells you want. Let's say you want to build four. You just have to add three more cells and do the same thing as I have shown you. And this would look like this. You should have no blocks below the piston arms again. Now you want to place a wall right here and you build this wall out of 15 blocks like this. It is five layers high. You want to do the same thing at the other side as well. So just stack up these blocks. Once you did that, you can come in front of the entire thing and you want to break these five blocks right here. So these are the four blocks in front of the sand and one next to it. Right here, you're going to place the chest and you want to place the hoppers all funneling to the chest besides. As you can see here from these extensions, all of them are funneling to the chest. On top of these hoppers, of course, you want to place the composters like this. And then on top of each composter, you have to place another hopper like this and our storage and composting system is set up by doing all of that. As the next step you want to take some glass panes and place them on top of the hoppers. Then you want to take some glass blocks and place them behind the glass panes like this and as you can see you should have one block gap right here. Now you can already place in your water in these four positions and as you can see the water should drop down two blocks and should flow to the hoppers one block. Now on the floor, on top of the sand block, you can place one kelp each, like this. And then finally you have to add a roof on top of the entire thing, which has the size 3 by 6, like this. Lastly, you want to get to the back side and you want to break this exact block right here, which is next to the redstone dust line. You want to replace it with a redstone torch at this side of the block, then a block on top, another torch, another block. Then one more torch right here, another block, final torch in this position. Then you want to place one block right here and underneath each of these pistons you want to place another block. Now you want to place redstone dust in these four and th this fifth position and your redstone system is fully finished now and you should have connected the pistons to the redstone system. To use the farm in survival mode is very simple, you just have to flick this lever and as you can see, this will create all the kelp. It is somewhat glitchy, but this doesn't matter. All the kelp will get funneled into our hoppers. And as you can see, it will fill up the composters. And whenever a bone meal is finished, it will end up being in this chest right here. This farm is fully AFK, so you could now create yourself an AFK spot or do whatever you want to do else in the world. But if you do this, I recommend not leaving an 8 chunk radius of the farm because then the farm might break or otherwise if you do this or if you leave the world please flick off the lever and then your farm won't break and you won't have to reset it. But if your farm broke anyways and it looks like this then what you have to do is just break some blocks at the side of the farm and then check if you have your sand still in front of the pistons which is the case but you have sand underneath the pistons and you want to remove them and you want to replace the sand on top of the piston arms again. You gotta break into the farm, as you can see, replace them and finally replace the kelp on top of the sand. Finish off by repairing the roof and then as you can see 
if we just flick the lever again, then our farm works fine again. Now I hope this farm helped, if it did, please leave a subscription and turn on the notifications, that way you won't miss any further content and it helps me as well. And then we see us again in the next video. See ya!